Let's do a simple exercise in SOLIDWORKS for beginners. Here we have a 3D model, exercise 210. Now you will see there is one top view and there is one section side section view. You will see here all dimensions are in millimeter, all fillets are 4 millimeter. Now let's check top view. So we will start from top view. Just note down this, this circle 38 millimeter. You will see this is going to attach with this line 74 corner radius two number of radius r9 so this corner this corner okay then there is a two hole okay now see the center distance 22 37 millimeter and you will see there is a simple step 64 millimeter this one and here we have little tapered 5 millimeter 25 35 okay so first we will extrude this upper body then later we will cut this all how long we need to extrude you will see in section view 12.5 millimeter you will see this is span 12.5 so let's do this first now make sure unit selected in millimeter gram second activate top plane sketch now let me select here circle and let me draw one circle at center point 38 enter press escape key to out now let me select line now start from here now if i am going back to the point and see the line is converted into arc look let me draw something like this okay and here draw some taper line something like this and let me connect to to this press escape key to out okay now let me draw one center line A smart dimension now let's apply all dimensions first from here to this corner 74 okay now here let me choose fillet keep 9 millimeter radius and select this corner this is important okay okay that's fine this point make sure tangent A smart dimension now this is going to be let's say 64 okay take little down A smart dimension select this one 25 from here to center point 43.5 okay let me select this one and select this point once you select this point you will see this triad so select this one and you will see the angle 5 degree Similarly, 35 degree. That's it. Now this is solved. Now let me select these two. And this is going to be 37.5. Okay. Now let me define these two center points. 22. Okay. Okay, this is going to be something like this. Now select this one and this one equal. Okay, look, it seems fully defined this sketch. Activate power uh, trim entity, power trim. Just press left mouse and drag and see. Now look, if this sketch is closed, it will show you a shaded view because we activated shaded sketch contour okay so let me activate extruded boss base keep direction downward side and here depth 12.5 okay now i am going to uncheck real view okay let's edit Two twenty, two twenty. Okay. 
Now there is one circular body 50 millimeter and depth is from here to here it's 33.5 but this is going to start from 8.5 millimeter. So first we will create simple plane. Select this face. Choose your plane 8.5 millimeter. But look this is moving upside. Flip side. Okay. Now select the plane and choose a sketch fillet or uh, sketch activate circle and start a circle from this center point 50 enter press escape key to out now see this is fully defined sketch because the sketch is in black color extruded boss base now this is going to be 33.5 minus 8.5 25 but make sure reverse direction okay now click and hide sketch now there is a depth see these two are depth you will see depth 8.5 okay so we are going to create this 4 millimeter 4 millimeter and see this is 20 degree and 4 millimeter and all corners are 4 millimeter okay you will see here also 4 millimeter so let's do this select this face sketch now let me select circle and let me draw one exit now select this outer circle and this circle make cordial okay offset keep 4 millimeter and let me select this reverse okay offset 4 millimeter reverse okay now I am going to create one center line. Angle between this 20 offset 2 millimeter. Here choose bi directional and select this line. okay now okay later we will expand this line offset 4 millimeter uncheck bi-directional reverse okay activate circle and let's draw one circle two circle here 9 enter Select these two equal. 9, enter. Okay. Offset. Reverse. Okay. Again offset. 4 millimeter. And let me select this time this circle. That's fine. Offset. And here also we need to create reverse. Okay. Okay, let me draw down. Now here we have one option, extend entities. Now select this. Okay, this is going to extend up to here. Okay. Press escape key to out. Now this one let's drag up to here. Okay. This is also drag and take down. Close. Okay. Okay. We have one close entity. Okay. Let me choose trim entity. Activate power trim and trim unnecessary line. Okay, here let me apply dimension 2 millimeter. Okay, so that our geometry will be trim entity and let me trim this, this also. Okay, that's fine.
okay here we forget to add something you will find the center point up to here exit again press l key in your keyboard and activate line tool up to here exit okay let's see trim entity power trim and what we can trim just trim this oh that's fine that's it look look we have a clear close view see extruded cut now here i am going to select selected contour and this time i am going to select these two close not whole okay and here depth 8.5 direction keep downward end condition blind look okay again select extruded cut come here selected contour and choose this hole just move cursor over this hole and select here see selected depth here this time let's say up to next if next means up to back side valve look now there is one counter bore hole see 31 20 20 hole is throughout 31 is a counter bore diameter and depth of this 5 millimeter okay we will create this and uh, let's make hole also uh, fillet 4 millimeter okay I'm going to choose hole wizard here I'm going to choose legacy hole type counter bore okay you will see these di dimensions you will modify so main diameter double click and 28 now if you are going to choose up to next you are not able to change depth we will keep up to next depth next means backside face counter bore diameter 30 double click on this depth 5 okay position now you have to select any face so i'm going to select this face and see tool activated just place at center click press escape key to out you will see the preview oh look fillet now type of fillet constant type and here fillet parameter 4 millimeter and item to fillet let's select even hidden edges you can select from here so no need to worry this is also there this one total i think seven or eight something okay one more here nine okay that's it now you will observe see there are nine number of things now at bottom there is a cutout you will see bottom view see eight number of cutout depth four millimeter this and uh, dimension you will see here r15 6 and uh, 20 35 something these dimensions are here so let's do this first uh, let me select front plane okay this is suitable plane for this sketch activate line tool i am going to click something here go back to the point and see the line is converted into arc exit smart dimension 15 okay let's see what we can do okay now distance from here to 35 now distance from here to here 6 now by default if you check this is going to be it should be 20 okay even though delete tangent relation now you can apply 20 okay but these are not tangent now 
ओके एक्सट्रूडेड कट ना कीप एंड कंडीशन हियर मिड प्लेन डेप्थ फोर आई विल शो यू यू विल सी सी टू मिलीमीटर मटीरियल फ्लोइंग इन बोथ साइड इक्वली सी सर्कुलर पैटर्न ना हियर फर्स्ट डायरेक्शन चूज सो आई एम गोइंग टू चूज एनी सर्क्यूलर इवन यू कैन चूज एक्सिस ऑल्सो आई एम गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट दिस सर्क्यूलर एज बिकॉज दिस इज लाइज एट सेंटर इक्वल स्पेसिंग एंगल थ्री सिक्सटी बिकॉज दिस पैटर्न इट्स टाइप ऑफ थ्री सिक्सटी नंबर ऑफ पैटर्न एटीन फीचर आई एम डायरेक्टली सिलेक्ट हियर इवन दो यू कैन ड्रॉप डाउन एंड सेलेक्ट फ्रॉम हियर से ओके लुक आई थिंक वी डिड डोंट फर्गेट टू शेयर लाइक अवर वीडियो एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियो एंड मोर प्रोजेक्ट इन सॉलिड वर्क थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग